We've got a big project ahead of us. Yeah. Honestly, all of these house projects are big projects. And we don't know what we're doing. Okay, so today we are starting some landscaping. We're starting the process of it. It's going to take a couple of days and probably weekends weeks we work full-time jobs and um, we're doing this in our free time so our biggest issue right now is we don't have a sidewalk from our driveway to our front door so we're tracking grass and dirt yeah. and all kinds of stuff into the house we're balling on a budget here on this channel everything we're doing is real DIY and as cost friendly and effective as possible I guess it's time to get to work what supplies do we need for this project all right, so I got a digging shovel. This is so we can dig out the old plants that we don't want and Great. the excess dirt. A square shovel with a straight edge so we can get our edges of our new beds where we want them to be. And I guess before we do that, we got some long twine and some stakes. Like when we do our walkway, we can get straight lines um, if we stake it and rope it off. Um, exactly where we want the path to go and then this is we're a little ahead of the process here but this is a tamper I can't get it out but that's for the path um, when we do the path we want to make sure we get a really nice and level surface which we haven't bought the sand and the gravel and everything that goes with the path or the bricks yet but this is a start so this is the area we're working with in our front yard all we have is a little welcome stoop at the edge of our steps but we wanted our sidewalk to go through our yard and meet up to our driveway our first step was to use our stakes and our twine to measure out the shape and size of our sidewalk. This was such an easy process and it was able to give us a true picture of what our sidewalk path would look like. After we gave it a good test run and made sure that the curve and the width was everything we wanted, we were ready to get to work. We dug up all of these rocks and this little stoop, said goodbye to it, and then Chris kind of got the short end of the stick with this project. He spent every morning for about a week and a half before work out front digging up all these rocks and the dirt so that we can get our path ready to go to move on to the next steps. So the next step is the base layer of the path. I used this all-purpose general use play sand that I got from Home Depot. I chose this kind of sand because it was the cheapest option that I could find. It was only about a dollar or two per bag. I used the back end of a rake and spread it as even as possible all the way across and down the path. I left it about an inch to an inch and a half thick. I took a scrap piece of wood with a straight edge and a level to screed the sand and make it as flat and as even as possible down the path. This part is extremely important because you want to start with a really flat and even surface. I took a hand tamper and tamped and compacted the sand down as much as possible so there wouldn't be any movement underneath the bricks. You also want to make sure to slope your path away from your home. That way rainwater will naturally run off of your path away from the home. Then we made a quick trip to the Home Depot and we let them load up as many bricks as we could possibly fit in one truckload. As soon as I got home, I started to lay out the bricks in the pattern that we chose. I'm not really sure of the name of this pattern, but basically it just alternates from horizontal bricks to vertical bricks and it repeats all the way down the path and changes every single row. Basically the process to lay each brick out is to put them in the spot that you want them and to tap them down with a rubber hammer until they're nice and flush with the bricks that are surrounding it. They make all different shapes, sizes, and colors of these brick pavers, but we ended up going with the very cheapest option that Home Depot had. I believe they were only 88 cents per brick. Since our path had a curve in it, it was a little more complicated than if we would have just done a straight 90 degree turn, but basically how we figured this out was just measuring a completely straight line and laying down the bricks all the way down the center. And then we would work our way across from each side of that straight line. At the end, we would end up cutting all of the edges and making the round turn. After getting all the bricks laid out, we took this old scrap piece of molding to make the exact bend shape that we wanted. We took a Sharpie and marked all of the pieces that we would end up cutting. I used a tile saw with a masonry blade to make these cuts. It actually was much easier than I thought it would be and I didn't have any pieces that broke or chipped on me. So I ended up having to make a lot of cuts since our path was curved, but like I said before, it would have been much easier if we would have just done a straight path with a straight 90 degree turn towards the house. If you laid it out correctly and you did the straight path, you probably wouldn't have to make any cuts at all and you could have skipped this step. 
After getting all my cuts made, I brought them all back and began to place them in the spots that they went in. Of course, I did so many cuts and forgot exactly where they went, so it was a little bit like a puzzle figuring out which piece goes where. Eventually, I got it figured out though, and I tapped them down with my rubber hammer into their place. A few of these, I made sure to stomp them down as well, because I didn't want these to fall off when you walked near the edge of the pass, and some of them were really small little triangular pieces. For one of the last steps, you'll need a couple bags of this polymeric sand. This sand is meant for brick pavers, and basically is going to hold all of your bricks together and set up kind of like concrete and make it a really solid path that's going to last. I would recommend using a mask when you do this because it was really dusty. Basically, you just take a broom and you work it back and forth until you get it to go down in all of those cracks. Next, take a leaf blower and blow off all of the excess sand off of the faces of the bricks. You want to just leave it only in the cracks. Then, water it all down and that makes it all set up and harden like concrete. Now here's a little reminder of where we started and this is where we are now. We got quotes for thousands and thousands of dollars for people to come lay a paver sidewalk. And we were able to do this whole sidewalk by ourselves for way under a thousand bucks. We planted new grass where gravel used to be here. And our next project will be putting mulch beds down to really complete the lookout here. But for now, we are one step closer to making our house a home. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.